Hello guys and welcome back to Backstage Business. This is the big entrepreneurial show. There's lots to learn and I'll tell you something now, the World Cup is killing my business. Let's go. So guys, welcome back to the Big Entrepreneurial Show. We're off to London today. We're going to see Vayner Media, aren't we, Chudders? That's the uh, company that Gary Vayner, Chuck Owens, has been in previous backstage business episodes. But I wanted to talk to you about some of the things that can really affect business. Right now, the old current bun's out. That's the sun. We can't get that in shot, can we, Chudders? That'll blind you. But the sun is out. And that really does affect some of our business. I was looking at our play center income. That's really gone down because we're indoor attractions, our outdoor attractions pick up. But it's all about diversifying your assets. But one thing that really does stop play in the leisure business is the World Cup. Uh, when England play, we just really die. So um, luckily we've got other business assets that support us, but I do feel sorry for the people. I've just been speaking to Will Smith, an EM member that's in retail, he's got pet shops, the World Cup, the football, the hot weather, that's just killed his business. He's working hard now to find ways to mitigate that. I think it's a smart little lesson there for business. So we're off to London in a bit, let's go. On the other hand, the World Cup has actually benefited quite a few people. I mean, pubs are having a fantastic time. I've seen all the supermarkets sold out, their beers and burgers, chance. I think what really is fantastic about the really good businesses that survive these peaks and troughs is they've created other sort of elements of income streams, chances that gets them through. So supermarkets don't just rely on selling beers and burgers when the World Cup's on. They've got other services in there that get them through so they've created more peaks and troughs that actually level them out. You know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, all the other things as well, Chuds. And what we're doing right now here in London is we're going to go and see VaynerMedia. We're going to see the MD of VaynerMedia in London to see if these guys can really help us you know, build relationships and grow our video journey. We will still solicit the advice and consultancy advice of people that are better than us and that's what we're going to do right now. Come on. See you guys. Good to see you. And then I was discovered into what I suppose is called the personal development world, which Gary sits in yep. there as it, in a way. So I didn't know that that existed and I didn't realise that it had been around like the Tony Robbins yeah. thing. And I was in business for 10 years really before. It really kicked off as well. Do you remember the Wolf of Wall Street, the film? Of yeah, so that came out um, and one of my friends said, oh, you can watch this film. Because if you're in business, everyone just got to check this guy out. He went all crazy. Um, and then a week later after that film had come out, at the XL, they had Jordan Belfort come along. It was 25 quid to go and see him talk front. So I thought, oh yeah, I'll do that. And I went and saw him do it. And I thought, oh, no, I can really do this speaking on stage stuff. So guys, we're just here at VaynerMedia. Had a really great chat with the uh, managing director of VaynerMedia UK, Chavington. Um, forming the relationships here, if we can. I mean, Gary, um, who owns this company, has really you know, built a fantastic profile presence in this personal branding space. And I think there's a lot to learn from that man. Uh, and we want to film um, and build relationships with them. Uh, and that's why we're here building those relationships uh, and there's more to come from this I, I can feel it in my bones Chudlington in my bones and now we're doing something really exciting we're going to go and meet a guy called George who was one of my first ever employees when we opened our first venue so we're going to see how we can network and see what he's been up to I think he works for the Guardian now so he's done very very well uh, we're going to see him for lunch and uh, dinner um, and uh, see what we can learn about how his life's generated and see if he got anything from party man why work for me go on let's go hey viewers now we're back here at Mars Farm and I just want to say thank you to the people that have been watching backstage for a long time. That's why I've got a special treat for you. Got my leg out, legs 11, chuddles, yeah. Shorty Blitz, Shorty Blitz, Shorty Blitz. Now what we're doing here is something very interesting indeed. Because I'm on a big bridge. Can you get the bridge on shot, chance? Uh, this is Marsh Farm, which is one of our, it's our biggest business that we own. Uh, and we're growing a maze, maze. Uh, and this is very exciting. Now if you watched the early backstage businesses a year ago, the maze maze has grown to epic proportion. Look at it, this it's in parts, it's taller than me now. And if you look over there, it definitely is taller than me and definitely taller than Chubbers. He's only four foot four, so it's definitely taller than him. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. I think there's a metaphor here that, you know, you have to sometimes wait a little bit for things to come true in life. And when you see things, you want you plant the seed and you watch it grow. Uh, and, you know, 
it's a good metaphor for business channels. Things sometimes take a little while to grow. Everyone wants instant gratification. Sometimes you just need to let things grow. We've got the turrets all up, the bridge is up. It's going to be good. You would have seen that we kicked off with talking about the maze maze, watching it grow. Uh, it's just a nice thing. I look at a shot of the farm over there. Shows you just how big this site is. Goes right over to that side as well, Chuds. Look, another thing that people don't really think. See these two fields? Can't do nothing with them. Can't do nothing with them. Why do we can do nothing with them, Chuds? Need them for parking. All the little things that we have to do because I want to make sure the parking's easy enough. Um, and we really upped our game on this from last year. You can see the white lines in here, Chance. Can we get the quick, just little shot of the white lines? Yeah, he's got the shot of the white lines. Uh, that depicts a picture. And I've got a little special treat for you because at the end of this video, you're going to see drone footage of what the picture is. And uh, if you've got children and families and you want to come see the maze maze over the summer holidays, come on down, you know. Little cheeky plug there. Chance, can we put a picture of a plug in there so people understand what a little cheeky plug is? You know, I don't want no American plug. I want a British plug, you know, like three pin. Thanks very much. This is Backstage Business, the big entrepreneurial show. Enjoy the drone footage. We'll be back next week. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. Now, if you want to increase your business and entrepreneurial learning, why don't you get your hands on one of my free, fabulous magazines, packed full of more business advice. All you've got to go to is www.free-magazine.co.uk and I'll send it in the post to you for absolutely free. See ya!